The first thing in building a jump is finding a good location. Once you've done that, you're going to need a lot of wood. In this case, I had to make several trips. It might be a good idea to get the general feeling of just how big the jump will be. Next, you're probably going to need a lot of water in order to pack the snow down on the runway of the jump. Now, we had to clear out everything that might be in the way of a good aerial. Remember, Always get any friend that you can to do the dirty work. Wow, it's looking good right now. The runway looks good and smooth. And the liftoff looks pretty good as well. The snow is the most important factor in building a good jump. The more snow, the better. It might even take 15 or 16 wheelbarrow loads. Boy, a good day's work. I can't wait to try it. Now for the fun part. is just perfect. The landing is excellent. Airtime is great. Well, you know, skiing can be kind of dangerous. I mean, sometimes it's... ...a documentary on ski jumping, and I'm going to do a little talk on how to do a spread eagle. First of all... That looks awful high. First of all, when you go, you just have to ski, and just go up and hit it. Don't. But most people don't see. 